What's going on YouTubers? Welcome to another video preview. Today we're going to be checking out Queen Studios Loki 1 4th scale statue. So here it looks like they've done a really hyper realistic portrait. Uh, that was their focus on this statue. And this to me seems like it's from the opening scene of when Loki first appeared through the portal, you know, with Nick Fury and Hawkeye. So it's without a doubt the best Loki portrait I've honestly seen. I think this even looks better than the bus. Uh, it looks spot on just like them. They got the hair right. The eyes look really good. I don't know if they're glass. They're probably just painted. But they look really good. Love the hair. It's a uh, rooted hair they the route they took doesn't look like there's a sculpted version. And then here is the base. So the base obviously reminiscent of that portal scene he just teleported through. Very simplistic pose just standing there. He has that determined look in his face. Definitely not going to be a space hog. So I do like the idea of this scene because Loki was super badass in that first scene. You know, when he first appeared, he had almost like that sweaty look, hair slicked back, so tough, confident. So I do like that. The only problem is uh, this does limit him. Like, we, we're not getting a, a swap out portrait with his helmet. And the helmet is so iconic and cool looking. So... You know, that is one thing that I don't like. I mean, I do like the base. I think it's decent. It's not amazing, but it's decent. It's good. Uh, you know, it looks screen accurate. The armor looks good. It looks like it's real mixed media, not sculpted. Yeah, the portrait's definitely very killer, and that's the best thing about this. I think everything else is just good. It's not, like, mind-blowing. If you take away that portrait, I, w I don't think this is a special statue. Uh, you know, because it's just, it's very basic. But that portrait is what makes it. You know, and that's really what makes a lot of Queen Studio products, is the fact that they're just absolutely killing it on their portraits. Like, you compare this portrait to Sideshows, this is leagues and bounds better. Sideshow does have a pretty decent sculpt. I think with a full repaint, Sideshows could look a lot better. And theirs is the helmeted version. Now, here is the product information. It says it's made out of polystone, fabric clothing, wool, hair, genuine leather. So they definitely went you know, more high end. I'm glad they didn't do silicone. 52 centimeters tall, 30 width, 34 deep. So it's very manageable, easy to display. Considering his head angle is slightly angled down, I think this is more of a top shelf piece. Now, this is priced at $1,140, so that is more expensive than I anticipated, and there's no addition size, which is kind of annoying, knowing that you're about to spend $1,100 plus shipping, which is probably $300, because, you know, this isn't coming from Sideshow, and it's going to be $50. Usually, you're going to have to pay DHL shipping from, like, Anton Wu or... If you do sea shipping, it will take forever, and it might be cheaper, not much. So, you're realistically looking probably at thirteen to $1,500 total for this. So, definitely not a cheap one-fourth. You know, it's nearly as expensive as their Thanos, which included two portraits, a much bigger base, bigger, more... Detail. I mean, I wouldn't say more detailed, but a bigger character. You know, Thanos is much bigger than Loki. So I do think this is overpriced. You know, I'm just trying to compare to their Thanos, which to me has a much bigger, better base. I think Thanos is a little bit more complicated of a character. He doesn't have the rooted hair, but his portrait seems just about as detailed. And he is all polystone where this is mixed media, and I think mixed media actually costs more. But overall, I definitely do really like it. The question begs, will I be getting this? I wish I knew the edition size. Now, I would not sell my sideshow to get this because this doesn't have the helmeted version. And I do want a helmeted Loki 1 4th. If I get this, it is to actually complement my sideshow and I have two Lokis. So I would keep sideshow and get this. Because sideshow, I do like 
probably the pose a little bit better, especially since mine, I have him holding the Tesseract. Uh, the base, I like both bases. I'd probably put them at equal. Uh, Sideshows is full polystone. There's no mixed media. So, I mean, both are good. I have no qualms with Sideshows body or in general, the entire statue is fine, except for the face paint, I think could be better. I think the Sideshow sculpt is actually really good as well. But this portrait is definitely absolutely killer. Definitely an overall amazing statue, no doubt. I, I do think it's a little overpriced. When I first saw this and I saw no switch outs, I honestly was thinking, eh, it's probably going to be eight to $900. But when I saw 1150 I was like, oh, I feel like I just got slapped in the face by Will Smith. Goodness. I don't know what... We said the queen to make them prices to this. I'm assuming it's going to be that rooted hair that's really causing this to be priced much higher. Because rooted hair does cost a lot. I wish they would offer a sculpted version at, you know, like an $800 price range. Because personally, I mean, I, I love this rooted hair and I think it goes extremely well. However, I would probably go for a sculpted hair version for A, to save the money. And B, all my one force are sculpted hair. And I want them to match. You know, so I don't think you need real hair on a one-fourth scale. I think real hair works on a one-third, half, and a life size. But on one-fourth, you know, I think it's not necessary. Even though it looks really good, I just don't think it's necessary at this scale. I think they could do a sculpted hair that looks just as good. You know, if they did it similar to, like, Prime One's Joker, that's, you know, like a PVC hair. I think they could get that same look at a cheaper price tag. So, I'm not sure if I'll buy it or not. I am undetermined. I'm probably not going to pre-order it. Uh, at that price tag, I, I probably will hold off, especially since they always have very large deposits. It's $430. So, I'll probably hold off in pre-ordering. And considering how much this is, we can assume that all their future one fours are probably going to be similar price tag, at least a thousand plus dollars each. You know, they have their Scarlet Witch uh, that's coming, and I assume that will probably be also real hair, and she'll probably even be more expensive because she has, you know, longer hair and whatnot. We'll see how good that one is. I definitely love this Loki, but I'm just not sure on that price tag. You know, especially since I do like the helmeted version far more than unhelmeted. So, we shall see. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I mean, overall, I think the look is amazing. I just wish they did a sw swap out. And frankly, I prefer him holding the Tesseract as well, like I have with my Sideshow. But I do understand what they were going for. I do think they should have had a second version that's cheaper, though. With sculpted hair, I think... Uh, that is a miss, because uh, a lot of collectors don't want to pay, you know, $1,400 for a 52-centimeter high Loki statue. You know, I think if they did uh, sculpted hair at 750 800 that'd be much more acceptable. I think this price tag is just a little too much uh, for what you get. Because really, the main thing you're buying here is that head. Because everything else... You know, I don't think is that much better than like Sideshow, which you could probably get for four to five hundred dollars. You know, and you could get Sideshow's head repainted for a hundred bucks and boom. And you get, you know, the helmeted version. So it's almost just better to just get the Sideshow professionally repainted. And it shouldn't even cost that much to repaint it because it's just like the face. Everything else is fine. So, you know, that that's one qualm I have with this for sure. Anyways, folks, let me know what you think in the comments below or any of you planning on picking this up. And, you know, they don't even have the license to ship the U.S. So you do have to go through a retailer, you know, like Spec Fiction or whatnot. So, for me, I will not be pre-ordering just yet. I will wait. Uh, I don't think this will sell out, especially since we have a TBD edition size. If they announced the edition size and it was low, then I might consider pre-ordering. But as of right now, I'm not pre-ordering because I do not like TBD with that price tag. Anyways, let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.